Southwest Rock and Country Music Facts and Trivia. Appreciate you being here. Today's video. Uh, Vince Gill gets emotional recalling how he made Merle Haggard cry. I can't quit crying and I don't cry. An all-time great country music story. Vince Gill recently sat down with American songwriter where he told an amazing story about how making the late, great Merle Haggard cry. It all really started back when Vince purchased the guitar of the late Job O'Arrington who was one of the original twin guitar players for Little Jimmy Dickens when he first started playing at the Grand Ole Opry many decades ago. Joe's family saw that Vince was using a guitar similar, similar to the one that belonged to Jabo, and they asked if he wanted to purchase it. The Fender uh, broadcaster was from the first year Fender started making electric guitars and is still very rare. Jabo had sat under a bed for 60 years, and of course Vince wanted to buy it. There's a Fender over there that I got from a family of a gentleman named Jabba Arrington. Jabba was the first guitar player for little Jimmy Dickens when Jimmy came to the Opry. Jabba died back then, back in the early 50s, and that guitar sat under a bed for 60 years. His family tracked me down, and they saw I wanted to I play a guitar like it. And they said, do you know who his, our relative was? He played with little Jimmy, and I knew who he was. They said, would you be interested in buying his guitar? It's a really rare guitar. The first year of Fender's electric guitar is made in 1950, and it's called a broadcaster. I said, of course I would, you know. So they came to the Opry. We met at the Opry, made a deal, and paid them, and it was a good bit of money. And they said, our dream is to see that guitar played at the Opry one more time. I said, well, I can make that happen. Jimmy was still around at this time and wanted to buy the guitar from Vince when he found out that he had bought it. Though after uh, hearing how much Vince paid for it, he realized he didn't actually want it that badly. Vince played the guitar that night at the Opry for Jabo's family, and he remembered them all being very emotional and understandably. Well, flash forward a few years later, and Vince was asked to play at Jimmy's memorial service at the Opry House in 2015. He played Go Rest High on that mountain, and of course, brought along the guitar to do it with. Of course, I took the guitar and played Go Rest and told the story of the guitar and how I acquired it, and that it was Jimmy's guitar player, Jabo's guitar, when Jimmy first came to the Opry. And I said, this is a guitar that brought him here. Should be the guitar that takes him out of here. Beautiful moment to have at the Opry House at Jimmy's service. He gets home, and right as he walks to the door, his phone rang, and he answered it, and it was his hero, Merle Haggard. Of course, Vince was excited to hear from him and got emotional as he recalled their conversation. So I get home, and I just walked into the door, and the phone rings, and I pick it up. Hello. And he said, Vince, this is Merle Haggard. I said, hi, Merle. He said, listen. What I just watched you do for that man was unbelievable. One of the most beautiful things I've ever seen. Merle's my hero, you know. And he said, I don't cry, but what you did, I can't, I can't quit crying. And I don't cry. Do you hear me? I don't cry. I can't quit crying. I want that guitar. I said, you can't have it either. I said, you can borrow it anytime you want, but it's kind of special to me now. What a story. So cool that Merle took the time to call Vince and tell him that which clearly meant the world to him and still does to this day. To have such a profound impact on your own hero through such a powerful and important moment in music had to have been beyond incredible. I can't imagine Merle Haggard crying. I just, it just always appeared to me that a tough guy, you know. I guess we all do from time to time. I love this story. All I got for you here, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Please don't forget to subscribe. If you have not yet, please like this video. Appreciate it. You guys have a great day. God bless you. And I'm praying for you.